already. Probably like, like 15 seconds ago. We're going to see what this is. Simple unboxing. Everything looks awesome. Ooh, pretty tight. Come on, how much times I'm supposed to turn it to get it out? I guess it doesn't want me to take it out then. Ah, there you go. It's out. Looks pretty good. Looks awesome. Of course, I can't wait to put this in. Oh, this thing will hold a lot of pressure. Everything looks nice. A little bit of dents and stuff in there, but not, not bad, not bad at all. The whole thing is welded up nicely. Yep. There you go. Okay, so that's that. Put that aside and see what else we got in the box. We got a miniature fan here. With all the assemblies, the brackets, the nuts, the bolts, the springs. The bearings in this is pretty stiff. That means that's nice. If it's loose, that means it's not that good and will wear out pretty fast. But if you notice on your car, it has at least four propellers. This has at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me count it again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, all right. So yeah, twelve volt, eight watt, eighty watts, and it should sit pretty well. So there's the front. And this is the back where it's supposed to sit. And uh, however it's supposed to go, the brackets are there. I don't know why this fan is like miniature small, smaller than the actual um, radiator. I guess that's what these things are for, huh? To pull them up and wrap them up there. But when it's time to install, you'll see all that happening. Because I don't know what, I don't have a clue what to do. Alright, I got two packages. I had three. This is actually not one. This belongs inside that box. I had to open that one early. I had. Let me give you the story. Long story short, I had three packages. One I'm supposed to reject because I, I didn't want it anymore, and they ended up sending it out right as I say I didn't want it. So the the seller told me to just reject the package and give it back to whoever dropped it off, if it's FedEx or UPS or um, USPS and I was like okay but the two boxes said the same exact thing so how am I supposed to know which is which so I asked the guy hey I need how do I cancel one of these boxes he says so which one do you want to cancel so I, I lift up the, the both boxes they said the both same names and everything I was like oh crap 
all right, I guess I'll have to choose, but he can't stay in there and wait. He got packages to deliver. So I came inside, closed the door, sliced them open real quick, both boxes, and opened up to see which which parts I need. Which this, if you know what it is, is for the rear, right camber where you put your camber in your rear suspension area. Yeah, so this is just a stock one. I don't want any camber. All I can do is adjust the toe, so I don't need any camber back there. And I'm not dropping my vehicle that low. So, I had the other set of that was two left sides. That's why I had to reject, reject it. But the story's not short anymore, but I took my bike after I found out which one I had to go in there, test it, see which side is which, see how it's supposed to look and everything. About 15 to 20 minutes passed. Tried to catch a FedEx guy after 15 to 20 minutes in a kind of suburbish military base neighborhood. And the base is really big. So, jumped on my BMX bike and took off. Rode up and down the street everywhere. I even asked the USPS guy. And he said, I never see no FedEx guy pass here. So I was like, oh crap. If he don't know where the guy is, who knows where he is. So I'm hauling my butt all over the streets on this BMX bike in the hot sun. And finally I saw him in a distance and he took off down the street. So I was like, alright, I'm going to cut him off down this street. But it's suburban streets, suburban streets. You think they're both connected. No. This one goes straight up this way and this one curves that way. So... After I come up this way, he already passed and went up. I tried to jump over that one. He already turned the corner on the up one. I had to jump on this street, go up this way, and he's already passed that street. Man, it was crazy. So, I'm out of breath. I just came back home. My goggles are all, all fogged up. I can't see nothing. But you also, what's in that package? That, one of them was in this box. The other one was in that box. I don't know what's the difference with that, but... Yeah. Where's my knife? Yeah, so this is a open box, funny conversation there. I want to see somebody try to do that. After a pack has been dropped off that you're supposed to reject, try to see how how you could catch these guys back to give them back the package without using your car. Because that would make no sense. i got to jump in my car and drive and then I have to obey every law. No, no, no. A bike is what it is. So this right here is... Something I was waiting for for a very long time. Dun, 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 dun. My catalytic converter. I can't see properly. My goggles all fogged up, so I could barely see. And I'm seeing that I have what I need. Right here is where I needed the hole. The first time I got the other one. The other one, the hole was up here. And I don't need it to pass the O2 sensor from here and then go through here. It has to pass through and then the O2 sensor has to pick up the how it's supposed to be from in there. If it's clean air or whatnot. And I think you get a bearings or bushings or yeah I can't even think straight. Okay, so this is one. I think I'm seeing it right. This is supposed to go in here. Oh no, sorry, it's supposed to go in here. Alright, and this one is supposed to go under here in this circle. Right there. And just bolt and play. That's it. Alright, guys, that's it. See y'all next time. Peace.